Okay, to start off with, you are going to sign into Canva and click Presentation. This is going to start a blank presentation for you. Okay, and make sure that you keep to just one slide because this is going to be your cover slide for your podcast. Now you can use the elements, text, backgrounds to create your design within your um, page. I am going to add my name here. And then of course you're going to add your title and all of the things that you need to add for your podcast. And the next thing I'm going to show is how you're going to actually record your podcast. And so what we're going to do is on this left-hand panel, you're going to find uploads. If you don't see the cloud, the uploads cloud, you're going to slide down and you're going to click apps and then you're going to slide down on this panel here. Let's see if it'll let me grab that. And here where you see all of the gray apps here, you're going to see the upload button. So you'll click on that cloud and then it's going to be here on the left. So mine's already there. I'm gonna click uploads here and I'm going to click record yourself. Um, you will probably have to accept the camera um, here, so make sure you click allow so that it will allow your camera and your microphone. Right now, my camera is showing, you can see me here, but since this is a podcast, we actually don't want the camera to show. And so instead of saying, uh, seeing front camera here, and if you don't see this, click right here and you'll see this. Uh, click front camera and choose no camera. That's gonna actually turn off your webcam. And next, you're going to click that record button. It is going to give you a three second countdown and then you're going to start recording your podcast. Test, test, this is me recording my podcast. Now I'm going to click done when I finish recording. And notice that I can click delete here. One other thing that I didn't mention while I was recording is that there is a pause button. So you guys know that it's those two vertical lines. You can click pause, gather your thoughts, and click uh, continue so that you can continue recording. Um, if you don't like your recording, click delete. If you like your recording, make sure you listen to it. Click here to listen to it and click save and exit. And what that does is pop my record test, test. Right here. This is me recording my podcast. You can see that it's playing automatically. I'm going to click on it to stop it. And so here is my recording. Again, make sure you listen to it from beginning to end to know for sure that it is what you like. And finally, um, we can see that this is a um, like a profile image. And, um, but what I'd like to do is kind of cover that up so that when you're looking at my project, you can't see that picture of kind of the blank um, person. And so you can take images or I'm gonna do elements and um, think about something that would go with your, whatever else is on your design, whatever your podcast is about. And go ahead and just add an element or a graphic, um, something like that to your template. And then you can actually cover up and you can make this small. So you can make this even smaller. Go ahead and just cover up that image so that it's, so we can't see it. That'll make it look a little bit better. Okay, so, and this little play button is actually not gonna show within your design, so don't worry about that. Now, let's say my design is completely done. Um, I have all the information that I've been asked to include onto my design. I have recorded myself. I have added something on top of that little placeholder so it looks nice. Next, I'm going to download that video. And so I'm gonna click share. And next, I'm going to click the downward arrow that says download. And this part is really important. Right now, it's saying PDF. That is not going to capture your voice. So if you choose PDF, we will not hear you. Instead, you're gonna click the drop down, and you're going to choose MP4 video. MP4 video. This is a video file, and I'm gonna click download. 
now this is downloading and it, you can see it might take a little bit of time uh, since it is a bit of a larger file since it is a video. And it shows completed and so that's gonna save to my computer. Now I'm gonna go to the Padlet and I am going to add my video under my correct class. So let's say I'm in Miss Wentworth's class. I'm gonna click the plus sign underneath her class and I am going to upload, which is this very first button. And remember guys, to find the most recently downloaded items, you're going to click recent. It might go there automatically. And now I'm looking for the one, it's, it should be the first one and it should say MP4. That's how I know it's a video. I'm gonna click open. And now that's going to attach here for the, under the subject. I'm gonna type my name again. And so now you should be able to see your um, video. You can tell again, it's a video. It tells me here. I'm gonna click publish. And then I'm just going to test it before I move on. I'm gonna click here and make sure that my video opens and that it plays. Uh, this is to really make sure that you chose the, the MP4 video file. So my video did play and it is ready to go and now I'll be able to view the other uh, videos on the Padlet. Have fun.